You know, Greece is the cradle of civilization. Africa is where humans come from. We have all the holy lands in the Middle East. Granted, they're kind of effed up. But you know what? All those Mediterranean places know how to eat. So we're going to be cooking Mediterranean food on CY. You know what, Mediterranean? You can kiss my... Hello and welcome once again to Cooking Under the Influence with me, your host and chef du jour. I'm Sean. One of my favorite things is Mediterranean food. It's great stuff, especially in this hot frickin' New Orleans weather. Today we're going to be making hummus and dolmades, or you might know it as stuffed grape leaves. That's the group, dolmades. But before we start cooking, as every good chef knows, we need a drink. So, not a hippie, but you know, it's kind of a hippie food. Today's drink is Metaxa. Wonderful stuff. This is a Metaxa 7 star. That's the good stuff. Oh my god, that's really good. That's better than I remember it. Most people think Mediterranean food is like... They think of Greek food as Mediterranean food. And it is, it's true. But remember, there's also Moroccan food, Lebanese, uh, Egyptian, Spanish, Italian, all that's Mediterranean countries. Remember your geography? Oh wait, if you're American, you probably don't. Anyway, so dolmades and cumin. How are we going to make that? Cumin? Did I say cumin? We're going to make... What are we making? Heart. Hummus, hummus, and stuffed grape leaves. So it kicks your ass quick. All right, I got two pots. Fill them both with water. And while you're waiting for it to boil, you can drink. Grape leaves. Yes, I have a grapevine in my garden. Oh shit. See, I told you I have a grapevine. Look, there's even grapes. There's some there. Grape leaves. Rinse them off because they've got like bird shit and bugs. There was a caterpillar in here. And then when you're done, you can use the vines for, I don't know, arts and crafts. Make a wreath or a noose for somebody you hate. Okay, I think our water is boiling. All right, let's take our chickpeas boil them. I got them in bulk where all the hippies go shop for their bulk wheat germ or whatever. And if you're using fresh grape leaves like this, you got to parboil them a little bit. You can get the preserved grape leaves if you want, but you know me, I gotta do it all friggin' Martha Stewart. Just dunk them in the boiling water for just a minute or two, that's all we're gonna do. It smells kinda like fish. I don't know if it's supposed to smell like that. Oh, ah, oh, damn it. Chickpeas every damn where. Ow, they're friggin' hot. Cause this is gonna be more cooking. All we're trying to do is get them kinda bendy. Like that. All right, get you an onion. You've heard of onions? All right, chop your onion up. Don't cry. Don't cry for me, Argentina. The truth is I never left you. Argentina is not a Mediterranean country. Argentina is in South America. Okay, I have a feeling the chickpeas are going to take forever. All right, take your onion. Saute it. Okay, this sounds crazy. Uncooked rice in there with the onions. Uh, this kind of seems like it has disaster written all over it. Uncooked rice. Okay, if you say so. Go get some dill and mint out of your garden. What do you mean you didn't plant a garden? Our onions are turning kind of translucent-ish. Well, I don't have chicken broth. I got chicken stock. I was too lazy to make freaking chicken broth. Maybe that's enough. I might have to add more. I have no freaking clue. It's the first time I made it. Time for a refill. You ever go to the restaurant? You know, like I, I'll say Chili's or Friday's or Bennigan's or something as a restaurant. It's not. Oh my god. It's ridiculous. You know what they make in their kitchen? Nothing. You ever wonder why all those restaurants, all the food tastes the same? Because they all buy it from the vendor. They all buy it from like Cisco or something like that. Make your own food. Or go to a restaurant where they actually cook it. So you can add some lamb or ground beef or pork or whatever. But I'm going to make it vegetarian. So for a little protein, let's do pine nuts. Mm. Add that to your rice and onion mixture. 
Drink it properly. Oh, God. We're going to get our mint and our dill. This shit goes a long way. You don't need a lot of it. So let's add that. I forgot to add lemon juice. So let's add some lemon juice. Flavory properties. Let's take our grape leaves. Whoa. <laughs> the stem on the grape leaf. We gotta cut the stem off. Let's put a spoonful of our Philly stuffy thing. Alright. Fold. 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 Roll. Oh, not bad. Oh, shit. Maybe it is bad. Okay, I think I used too much. All right, let's try that. A little bit less. Fold, 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 roll. Ooh, that turned out good. Okay, that's what we got to do right there. Don't do it too tight because that rice is still kind of uncooked. There's another cooking phase. All right, I'm going to roll a bunch of grape leaves here. It's been like 10,000 years. Had a couple of things in Metoxa. They had a camera break. I looked up chickpeas. And apparently they never get soft. So, okay. Alright, fine. So let's say they're done. Garbanzo beans. Don't you just love saying garbanzo? It's like the, one of the best words. Keep some of the, keep some of the garbanzo juice. Because... Fuck, I don't know why. Let's just keep it, okay? There's the seam. Remember we rolled them up? There's a the seam. You put the seam side down. Grape leaves. Stuffed grape leaves in the pot. There was 26. Chicken broth. Some recipes, most recipes, say use a plate to hold it down so the stuffed grape leaves don't unfurl because unfurled grape leaves are tragic apparently so you're going to cook it for like an hour simmer to heat not boily heat simmer to heat so you can't see like oh is the rice cooked but oh, let me taste it i don't fucking know it's in the damn grape leaf i can't drink that much more brandy like i'm gonna pass out before this shit's cooked so here we got some nice spanish wine Spanish white wine. Oh. Oh. Spain's on the Mediterranean. Did you know that? I knew that. Oh dear. How gauche. Spain, uh, you may have to move off of the Mediterranean. This um, blender. Chickpeas and our ju chickpea juice. Tahini. Remember tahini from the Baba Ganoush episode? Sesame seed. Oh, this looks gross. So you got your chickpeas, you got your tahini, a bunch of olive oil. Put that in there. However much you want. Whatever. Let's put a bunch of garlic in there. I don't feel like chopping garlic, so I'm using a jar, a jar of chopped garlic. How much garlic? However much you fucking want. You like garlic? Put a ton in there. A little bit of red pepper. Let's add a little bit of ground cumin. Let's put a lemon juice in there. Okay, blender smells like it's burning up. Okay, you know what helps? A little bit of water. That shit's thick. We're gonna add some wine. Why not? Can't hurt. Might help. And we just broke our blender. Awesome. Oh, that's really good. What the fuck is leftover wine? I've never heard of such a freaking thing. If you have leftover wine, you're doing it wrong. You may recall I made pita, pita breads a while back and it was a big fail. Okay, I turned it on high. That may not have been the best idea. I think we're done. Yeah, that was a bit of a burn episode. 
We're going to make Peter Fur hummus, which, by the way, has broken our blender. Third blender on this series to die. What the fuck, blender people? Come on. Split them down the middle. Pocket side up. Obsessed about your fucking blender, which is fucking broken. Again, all right, just brush your little pita breads with a little bit of olive oil. If any of y'all have any suggestions for a blender that won't die because I put something thick in it, let me know. Whatever the fuck you want, I don't care. Put on your pita, pita, pita breads. Put them in there. What the hell was that? What? The blender's beeping, really? Thank the Lord for wine. I am beyond the point of fucking caring anymore. Let's try a hand mixer. Because, yeah, I need more shit to clean up after this is over. Oh, yeah. And every goddamn word. Sure. This is horrible. Okay, here's an interesting thing I just found out. When you're cooking with a hand mixer, point it down. Not up. There's shit every goddamn where. We'll call this chunky hummus. Ooh, look, baby bun. Yay. Actually, it tastes really good. It's quite delicious. Ah, fuck, God. Damn, I burned myself. Ah, yes, that's exactly what I wanted to fucking do. Oh my god, I need another one of freaking these. Yeah, go to Mediterranean. You know what, Mediterranean? If that's a place. I'm just gonna eat the chunky hummus with the hand mixer, which was a pain in the fucking butt. Tastes great. Wow. Okay. Sorry, that was really good. It's a grape leaf stuffed. Tastes delicious. How did this taste so good? That's such a pain in the ass. You know what, Mediterranean? If that's a place. Till next time. Thanks for watching. Adios. Don't cry for me.